All right, hold on. I thought you guys had already reached uh, reached an agreement. You you do understand the position too. You guys have already been to me, and I've already issued an order on this matter. So I'm not sure what we're doing again. I was only going to let you guys proceed with your consent if you guys were going to reach a consent. But I've already made an order in this case. So what's what's going on? Hold on. Why don't you unmute and I'll get you under oath so I can understand what the problem is. Okay. Get you well, under the problem oath. Is, up, raise your right hand for me. Raise Everybody. Right Everybody on position two, raise your right hand. You swear or affirm and tell the truth, the whole truth on a penalty and perjury of the law. I do. I do. All right. Mr. Pleasant, unmute and say I do. I do, Your Honor. All right. Mr. Sealer, I know you're representing <clears throat> what well, says you're says Jeff Cohen is the uh, designated agent. Where's Jeff? Okay, here you go. So. Well, the, 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 the problem was when, when we went to court last time, I filed this under Connect to Court. And when I did that, they switched the names around from App Recruiter to Recruiter App. So then when I went to get a writ of possession, they wouldn't give it to me because the name was not correct. So I had to file all over again. No, but that shouldn't have been the case. I I, I tried. I tried. And I, yeah. and I so asked Clark, the court. What can we do about that? Because I've already um, indicated that there was no need. Uh, you know, if they switched, because I do know that sometimes they'll take a name and flip it to put the last name first and first name last. But this is a business, so that wouldn't have been applicable. Uh, you, I, you, I asked the court and they said that they wouldn't do it. Your, Your Honor, did they change the amount on the dispossessory warrant? So I get that, that, but that wouldn't even be applicable if I if my order stays in play. So oh, that okay. wouldn't even matter. Okay. Hmm. So I'm not really sure. I mean, all I know is that the marshal's office needs it to be exactly the same as the warrant. So why can't their writ just reflect that? If we, if obviously the order is written correctly, I would have to ask. Um, my supervisors. Yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, give me one moment. I'm just looking at my order and judgment, and I'm the one that was signed back in uh, where Talk. the defendant even appeared. And so this is not a default. And my order says app recruiters. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Judge Chavez, I'm sorry, I wouldn't have an answer for you. All I know is that the marshals do need it to be exactly the same. Um, I could double check right now with my uh, with the chief that's here. I see what she can let me know. I don't know what I can do here. No, it's fine. I just I just was trying to if if it's if it's done incorrectly, that's one thing. But I know we had a whole trial. It's not like a default. You know, that wasn't a raised issue. I do see where that was really a misnomer. I wouldn't think that that would justify the need to have mm -hmm. a whole case refiled. But I'll let you guys get to that. But nonetheless, I had already indicated that there would be no need for a new hearing because if that was all that the issue was and we've already had a trial, well, there's no need to relitigate the issues. Uh, I've already signed the writ of possession some time ago. So if the, oh, marshals, are, if the marshals are saying that ultimately it needs to say the, that that name, you know, as I said before, my order says that you might be able to, you know, I don't know if there is a motion or something that you could request, but ultimately, guys, unless you guys are trying to relitigate this issue, I think it's already been litigated and I don't think it's a need for us to do it again. Uh, so Good. I'll have I'll have the clerks look into what's going on to see if we so we can get the necessary order that was already into or placed in. Uh, fulfilled. And so few folks can just move forward. But obviously that would cause your current action, or at least the action that was, the, the, this is not even a new action, cause the, uh, the the amended filing to no longer be applicable because even though you ask for new monies, which is the problem, because if you're just changing the amendment or amending the name, you don't need to add money. So you just know that there would be, your amendment is of no value when it comes to any money. The amendment is only applicable to the name. You understand? Okay. So my order is going to be my order. Now, I can't help that the, the marshal's office wouldn't execute it earlier. But again, I nobody disputed the name at the time of trial. And I think obviously the issue is just a matter of a flip. And, and I don't think that that would require for a whole new trial. I just don't think that be, that, that that's necessary. Um, then what so do we do to... 
I'm sorry. We just gotta have to get the clerk's office. I mean, I, I, I'm, I, I've already indicated that the order that I put in was good. So then we what are we to people to, to do what I said? So then what do we do? To so, so I will double check, and um, if everything is fine, then the rate will go to the marshal's office. We will notify you. Need to get a motion or something to to tell the court to amend the name, right? Because that that more likely. And I'm I understand that you guys aren't lawyers, right? And so maybe that's where the issue. Maybe you should get lawyers. But most times, when you want an amended name, you don't need to amend the full the full the full uh complaint. You just need to request that the name be amended. Now I, I don't tried know, that. Well, I, so I don't know why they won't do that because I've I've granted motions like that for other cases. But nonetheless, if you don't put it in the proper form and you're not an attorney, I can't tell you that they won't grant what you request because you don't put it in the proper form because you don't know how to do it. Now that might require you to go get some legal aid. But as far as what I'm saying in this case, I've already made an order based upon facts and presentation that we've had in person. So. That's what should how things should proceed. Unless I get some other information, I'll move from there. But uh, today is Tuesday. It's for the holiday. You may hear something on Wednesday uh, about what's going on, but I can't guarantee you're going to hear anything this afternoon or this morning. So uh, okay. you might want to call back at the, you know, probably if you want to really know something, you probably wait till Monday, considering that it's the holiday. Otherwise, the clerk's office will contact you or give you some type of communication. Okay. Thank you so much. All right. You guys are free to go. Okay. Well, hold on one second, Your Honor. Yep, Mr. Pleasant. At the, part, at the current time, we're still there. And the reason why is because you did issue that writ and we respected it. As we was coming to move our stuff the last time, the, the locks were changed. According to my landlord, the locks got changed before any marshal or any writ was served. So, Mr. Pleasant, do you want to have another trial or deal about the issue of your possession? Absolutely. So you want to talk about more money and things of that nature? You believe that... The lockout is going to be a position where it overtakes. I, mean, I don't believe. If you want to do that, I, I, listen, I don't mind. Okay. So right. we can have a trial on next Tuesday. No, but, no. But, but the problem is I've already mm -hmm. said that the original order is applicable. So the only thing that we really would be dealing with, I guess, is either in any counterclaim that you're saying or alleging for being locked out. And we'll have to look at evidence for that. And then I guess then that they'd be entitled as well. Uh, for any new monies that they'd be entitled to for beyond you guys being in possession from the writ date. And that would at be basically point, what would be at, up at in this the point, end. Your Honor, and I respect your judgment. That's absolutely fine. We did get Brookhaven police involved, and we want, as my business partner, Mr. Gordon, said earlier, we want to protect our rights at all costs. So if we need to have a court case next Tuesday, by all no. means, please set the date, Your Honor, and we will be there on time. That that, that doesn't bother me. Can't Sorry. do Tuesday. Would you speak? Yep. To Your Honor, no, it'd have talking? to be Tuesday. Otherwise, you're going to have to pay rent yeah. to the register. Wait, wait, wait. Who's, who's that talking? Mr. Styler, you have a, a witness there that's not present on the calendar? I, I, don't know. I don't know who's saying you can't do Tuesday, but it'll be Tuesday in person. Well, I, I, I have another thing going on Tuesday morning, so I can't be there Tuesday. Okay, can we do it Tuesday afternoon? Yes. Great. Tuesday I can't afternoon? Be there yeah, no, we so can't. Let's put it on where we set it. Listen, please. I can't do it Tuesday afternoon. Guess what? Guess what? If you can't do it Tuesday, you're going to have to start paying rent to the rest. Of I I'm not going to play. Listen, I've already given a warning. We're not playing, Your Honor. Gone. Listen to me. You technically were supposed to be gone a long time ago. Now, I understand things have happened. Now, that may cause new things to be in play. Fine. But I'm not going to further delay what I've already ordered that they were entitled to a couple months ago and then give you the benefit of staying there beyond that time because you may have a counterclaim to certain to certain damages. And so I'm happy to address those counterclaims, Thank you. but to continue to leave the plaintiff without any type of protection when I've already issued an order is problematic. So you're either going to be there Tuesday or you're not. Or you're gonna have to, we're going to have to have people so, pay money so, to the register. So, so I, out of respect, Your Honor, when he said he couldn't be there Tuesday morning, I noticed he didn't get the same... Because Let's, it's Tuesday. Just one thing, it's Honor. still Tuesday. So is it? can you be there Tuesday morning or Tuesday afternoon? Me? I can be there Tuesday morning. You can be there Tuesday morning. Yes, you I can. can. Be there Tuesday. Yeah, you have to understand, folks. I can be there Tuesday morning. Guess what? Listen. I'm telling you the hearing is on Tuesday. Okay. You understand? Mr. Gordon, can you be there on Tuesday? I can make it on Tuesday. Okay. Tuesday afternoon or Tuesday morning? For sure, Tuesday morning. I'm not sure. Then that's what it'll be. You, you, I, that's I, what it'll be. So, and Mr. Cohen and Mr. C, you're saying you can't be there till the afternoon. 
Exactly. Uh, Gordon, can you be there in the afternoon? Can't be there in the afternoon. Well, folks, I guess you guys are going to have to find some representation because I'm not going to further delay the case because you guys can't keep the schedules together. You're here today, right? And unfortunately, we're not going to have a trial today on these matters that we haven't really had addressed and nor have I seen any counterclaims for. So that's what we'll do. And so we will have it Tuesday. Figure it out for the afternoon, folks. But a Tuesday afternoon at 1 p.m. Mr. Okay, Cole. Be two, so, so let me get it right. It's going to be Tuesday afternoon, Your Honor, at 1 p.m. And you, up until that time, we have time to go get legal representation, correct? You want to? I'm not stopping yeah, you. No problem. Yeah, no problem. Listen, listen, I don't believe in fairness, but I am very fair. Mr. Cohen, do you have that question? Unmute yourself. We're now past time. Your Honor, I've waited since April or March for this it's whole thing. Tuesday at 1 p.m. I'm out of the country. I, I don't know what to tell is you. It, my question is, is it by Zoom? No, it's in person. There's no way I can be there. Well, then you'll need another designated agent. All right, I'll be there. I'll be there. Mr. Sealer's there. I, I don't know what else to tell you. Otherwise, you're going to need another designated agent. But if okay. you guys want some resolution and you don't want to have it wait any longer, you're going to have you, somebody's going to be there next Tuesday afternoon. Won't be. But Mr. Mr. Sealer can be there. He's got he's got the receipts from so, the from so, the so he just needs to put in the designation and we'll let you guys proceed. We'll get out the notices. Reset 1 p.m. next you. Tuesday. You guys okay, have a blessed you. holiday. Please get off my screen. Thank you. Thank you.